All right, let's try this again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think that was a 10, but I'm gonna do that one over because it's tight. And I'm going to add one because that's going to be my turn chain. Then I'm going to single crochet in the second chain from hook. We never count the loop that's on our hook. So one, two. Some people go in this chain. Some people go in the back chain, which would make a nicer bottom edge. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna go into the bottom, the back hump. So there's one. See, there's the working chain, turn it over. Here's the hump right here. So we're gonna go in that hump. That's two. this hump I didn't go through the hole I split the thread yarn it's not good there Got more than just that back loop. This is not the way I normally do it. But if I want a nice clean edge and I'm not don't plan on making a border, I'll do this one. But if I'm doing a border I figured I don't need a nice clean edge. So, cause the border's gonna take care of it. Okay, I need to make sure I'm only getting that loop and not the other thread. Okay, so here's where I worked in the back hump and look at that nice bottom edging with all the nice V's. That's what we mean by a nice bottom edge. So where are we? Take a picture of this right here. I'm 
wondering if it'll be better without the light. I think you can see that clearer. Sorry, I'm playing with my document camera, trying to get a better angle on this. But this is without, and I'm going to do another side with showing you what it would look like. doing it the normal way I do it, which is not as clean. Doesn't give as much of a nice hook to it. I'm working on it, guys. There. Okay, let's put this one, pull that out. Let's work on this one. This is using the other end of my yarn. So, there's my loop. Go around my loop with the working yarn and through the hoop, loop, there. Let's do a chain 11. Sorry guys, I gotta move this up. second chain from hook we never count the first chain so one or the we never count the loop that's on our hook one two so this is our second one and I normally go on the top side I just want to show you the difference Sorry it's shaking, but my hand is shaking on the table, so it's causing my document camera to shake too. This is how, let me get this out. I want to show you. See how this one, the 
bottom is not very nice. Whereas if you're working in the back loop only, your work stays together better than if you do the bottom, uh, only do the top loop. My document camera is not showing very clear pictures and it's upsetting me. They don't look very clear. But see the holes at the bottom? Because you're working only in the top loop in this one. Whereas this one, you're working in the back loop and there's no real big holes, gaping holes at the bottom. And there's a nice edge at the bottom. So that's what I wanted to show you today working in the back hump versus working on the top loop for your single crochets or any stitches for that matter when you start off a project. If you're not planning on doing a border of your work around the whole uh, circumference of your work, this would be the better way to go because the edge is nice. It looks finished, whereas this one does not. But if you plan on doing a border, I see no reason why you have to do this. This one takes a little longer. It takes me a little longer. But if you're going around it, it doesn't matter. Whichever works for you. Um, that's all I wanted to show you today. I hope it's been very helpful for you to see the difference. And I hope it helps you with your future projects. And um, I hope you stay crafty today. And remember to be kind to one another. Because kindness makes the world a better place to live for you and for others. But it's contagious and they will likely bring it, be kind to others because you were kind to them. And those others may be kind to you. You know, so it makes the world a better place. I hope this helps. I hope this tutorial helps. And I hope you all have a wonderful, blessed day. Bye for now.